Is this homeroom? Come on, bring it inside. Let's, let's do it. An alternative education program in Westfield is helping high school students discover themselves as learners by combining rigorous academics with individualized instruction. Project 79 is an alternate form of learning where they bring up the question like, is there a way that we can get kids who aren't doing well in mainstream, and instead of just giving up on them, putting them in an environment where they can succeed and do better. Project 79 exists because there was a superintendent of schools way back in 1978 who, who just had on his radar, way on the side of his radar, the idea that there was a group of kids that we were in danger of losing. His name was Larry Green. And so he had this idea that maybe with the right group of teachers, he might be able to offer something to kids that would make school feel more meaningful and make them want to be here. Project 79 is a college preparatory curriculum, so project students take the same subjects at the same levels as students not in the program. The difference is the teaching. One of our purposes is to try to you know, have each kid figure out how to use the unique equipment that's between his or her ears. You know, I mean, everybody looks at things differently. Everybody's got a different mind. So to get a sense of your learning style, we are a little bit more hands-on and we can be a little bit more individually responsive because of the size of the classes, but also because of the nature of the activities and projects that we take on. It's the way school should be done. I thought it was really cool because the classes are really small and the teachers concentrate on you better than they did in mainstream. And you're more like involved and you play more engaging games that get you interested in what you're learning. There is a perception that project classes are easier, and that's completely false. I teach mainstream geometry, and I teach project geometry, and it's the same exact curriculum. I may teach it slightly different, but the material is the same, and the curriculum is the same. They're learning, you know, New Jersey State curriculum geometry, just like my mainstream kids are. It's just how they learn it is much more hands-on. Um, and they're more responsible for what, what they know. You know, they, they have to talk about it in class, they have to present in class, they have to teach each other things, and um, I think that in some ways makes it harder. I mean, you can't hide in a project class. You can't just sit there and, you know, sit in the corner. It's just not going to happen. I just moved to Westfield as a freshman. It was very difficult for me to fit in. I was struggling with most of my classes, not because I couldn't understand it, but just because I felt different and I didn't want to be there. So I came into Project and immediately I started paying more attention. I had friends to talk to and my grades have gone from very low to straight A's right now. The question, you know, who is a Project student is always an interesting one. And the standard response is always this. There is not a single profile of a Project student. But there are characteristics and there are some common life experiences. A lot of Project students really do have a very different way of learning. A lot of our students are very mechanical, they're very artistic, they often learn more through manipulation, through hands-on. Some of our students have things going on at home that really make their focus on school very, very difficult. So there is no particular profile. The program's goals include helping its students develop a positive attitude toward learning and mastery of academic skills while also building communication skills, social awareness, and a sense of community. Much of this takes place through interdisciplinary projects ranging from artistic endeavors to local and even international service projects. We feel it's important to reach the students with interests that they have already. They could really explain themselves in a much more detailed, in-depth way through art, painting, sculpture, uh, multimedia, and it's just worked out uh, tremendously well and it gets them wanting to, to come to school and, and be a part of some of these smaller projects but also these larger collaborative projects. The highly collaborative approach Project 79's small team of teachers is able to take with the approximately 120 students who choose to participate in the program has led to more than three decades of success and the program becoming a model for alternative education throughout the region. I think that if Project was never presented with me, there's no way I would be going to the school I am today or I would have nearly the, as many friends that I have now and it really, it completely changed my life. One of the ways that I think about the students in this program, um, and it's not an image that I, you know, came up with, but I, I think of them as orchids, that, you know, this is the most stunning uh, and varied um, flower on earth but it needs the right conditions, you know, in order to amaze you. If you provide the right conditions for our kids, they will continue to amaze us.